All right guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to get my reshade settings downloaded and working in your game. And I will also be showing you the difference between having it on and off. Anyways, let's get straight into the video. All right guys, so now I'm gonna show you what this stuff actually does in reshade. So number one, let's just turn everything off. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna have on permanently to have your game look good is i don't even know how to pronounce it it's basically just having the edges of your screen a bit darker so without with without with all right next up is going to be lightroom now lightroom basically kind of just adjusts the colors a bit and this is what it looks like with lightroom and without lightroom so this is with lightroom we're going to keep that on now next up is hdr so now this is without and this is with so it kind of brightens up, adjust the colors once again. Then we're going to come over here to Adaptive Tone Mapper. And this is what is with it on and without. With it, it kind of makes things a bit more brighter again, adjust a few colors in there. Next up, we're going to have Adaptive Sharpen to kind of sharpen it. And Gaussian Blur to kind of smooth out some, some stuff on it. So those two kind of explain, you know, just one sharpens, one kind of smooths everything out next up we are going to have vibrance now this changes quite a bit so it, it's kind of hard to see but it does it kind of makes everything a bit more saturated and with these settings it makes it look a lot more like real life now finally is retro tint now this it kind of gives like a purplish blue color over everything which kind of just brings everything together in the end this is without it and this is with it without and with and then if you guys uh this is what i recommend doing it when you guys are going to record a hot lap that's when i would say turn perfect perspective on to get that realistic f1 onboard look if you guys are not going to do an onboard lap then what you guys do you turn that off any in any circumstance you know just regular playing around and stuff you know don't use it it's all warp stuff on the edge of your screen and you won't be able to use those apps all right, guys, so now I'm going to teach you how to install the reshade. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a little link in the description to the file. All you have to do is download that. And then once you've downloaded that, all you have to do is bring up your Aceto Corsa folder. You should be able to find this if you guys don't know how to do it. All right, and if you guys need to know where to find those files, all you have to do is go on to Steam, find Aceto Corsa, right click on it on the side, go down to Manage, and then click on Browse Local Files. I'll pop up this and this is all that you need. All right, so once you guys have found this folder, all you have to do is drag in my reshade settings and that's it. Now, all that you guys have to do is close that and launch the game. All right, so now you guys have opened up your game. All that you have to do is click the bind to open up your reshade overlay. Now, once this is open, all that you do is go up here to the top. For me, it says RB18 Monza. It will be something different for you you click on that and you scroll down and you find the biscuits reshade dot any folder as you can see i found it i click on it and i just click select and it will have everything open and that is it now one thing i'm just going to say this again i do not recommend you guys using the perfect perspective just while playing the game regularly i only recommend you having that setting on when you are going to record a hot lap or record a video because that as you can see it adds a fisheye to the game and it also warps any apps that you have so as you guys can see i have the fisheye setting settings on i'm just going to show you if you drag around this app as you could see it warps around your screen and it makes the app pretty much unusable and if you have it in the corner then it can be cut off or completely disappear so it's not good to have this on if you guys are just trying to drive around at all i would only recommend having it on when you are going to record a video all right guys so that was it i just want to make the tutorial really quick so you guys could do this really quick and i didn't want to make it over complicated anyways yeah if you guys have any questions leave them in the comments below or you could join my discord server link below uh i do also post a lot of mods that i make for so course in there and you guys will get notifications on my videos and any other projects that i'm working on if you join that anyways thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe see you